Hey guys, me host Superstar. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. This is the new Dagobah Culture Fly Star Wars Galactic Box. Oh, Gal sorry, Galaxy Box. And this is a, a, a mystery box that comes from Culture Fly. Uh, I believe it's every like quarter. Um, and there is a really decent mystery box, to be honest. Uh, these are a little bit more on the expensive side than usual mystery boxes, but the stuff you get in these is so much better. I've done many mystery boxes over the years, and this one by far is my favourite. As you guys know, I used to do the um, I used to do the DC boxes. That's how I know these are going to be good. I've never done a Star Wars one before, but I've done the DC ones for the past few years, and the DC ones were always really good. Now, with with my channel changing to becoming all about just Star Wars, and I'm my my collector focus going purely in a Star Wars direction, the lovely people over at Culture Fly. Um, agreed to change the box that I get sent from the, the DC one to the Star Wars one. So this is the first time I'm getting one of the Star Wars ones, but I can already see from the box artwork that it is the same quality that we're used to from the DC stuff. So I can't wait to see what they've put in here. This is made to look like Dagobah, so I can only imagine that there's going to be lots of Swampy and Yoda merchandise going on. So let, let's go ahead and take a close look inside the box. Oh my god, I'm already seeing a bunch of cool stuff. Okay, so on the, on the actual inside of the box, a little, this is how detailed these boxes are. It says Star Wars on the inside, look, it's so cool. Right, so we've got the little cheat sheet thing here. I'm not gonna, not, no, I'm not gonna look at it. Ah! Uh, I can already see a couple of items, but yeah, we'll keep it a secret as possible, really. Culture Fly sticker, they come in every single box. Just to welcome you to the Culture Fly family, you can put a little Culture Fly sticker on something. <laughs> First thing I am grabbing out of the mystery box is a hat. So this is a proper, yeah, proper Star Wars hat uh, by Disney and Star Wars and uh, made by Culture Fly. And it is, oh, what's on the front? Oh, that's nice. Just a green hat that says Dagobah on it. And then it also says, I guess that says Dagobah in Arabesh underneath. Not a bad hat. It's got a thing you can tighten it at the back. Bit of an odd colour, I'm not sure if green is my colour, but it's still a nice hat. Yeah, you can tighten it at the back if you want to. It's a bit loose at the moment, but yeah, that's not a bad hat, you know. Not a bad hat, I've got a big head. <sighs> that's not a bad hat though. Could have done with that before I went to Florida. <laughs> Alright, next thing I'm grabbing is the t-shirt, and it is in my size, which is 3XL. I think it's great that they have my size. Um, so that another another reason to get these awesome boxes is for the the, the wearables because the clothing merch that comes in these boxes is just amazing. Oh yeah. So that's like a grey sort of like a grey green t-shirt. I kind of like that colour. Oh, Master Yoda, Master Yoda's Jedi Training Academy. Do or do not, there is no try. Uh, the Dago Bar system on the outer rim territories. That's a nice shirt, you know. That is nice. I'm happy with that. And again, that's in my size, 3XL. So I am one happy bunny. You can never have too many shirts, especially Star Wars shirts. I like that. Okay. Two really good items. What's next? Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's like a it's a box art. A shadow art box from the Dagobah Swamps. So it's a little uh, one of those little box arts. I'm not quite sure what the what the actual usage of these things are, but it's a little it's like a little art box. So it's like an art piece inside, and you can hang it. But it's it's effectively a box as well. <laughs> Don't quite understand it, but I like it. It's Yoda. You can never have too much Yoda, and there's like a little magnet holding it shut. And yeah, you can hang it on the, You can hang it on your wall using that little clip there. So yeah, it's like a like a wall box art piece hmm <laughs> again 
If someone knows what that is, please tell me. But I, I, it's an art piece as far as I'm concerned. It's not a trinket box. It's, it says it says a shadow art box on the front. Hmm. Interesting item. But yeah, Star Wars art. Okay, next. What we got? Oh, what's that? Ooh. Star Wars chopsticks. Ooh. Officially licensed ones as well. These, everything's officially licensed, which I love. It's not like some random made up stuff. It's all, di all got all Disney logos and everything. Star Wars Lucasfilm logos. That's nice. That's leather as well. So it's like a leather pouch to keep them in. And it's got arabesque written on the side. Not quite sure what that says. Translate it. But we have two. Two chopsticks in the shape of lightsabers. Blue lightsabers. <laughs> but yes, we have two lovely chopsticks. And that means, because I remember on the last DC box, and I can see it from here, when you get some chopsticks, <coughs> Culture Flight always likes to send as well a lunchbox or a bento box. Here we are. It's made to look like the rations box from Return of the Jedi, which is pretty cool. Need my scissors. There. I love it. I love a good. Uh, I love a good sandwich box, especially when I go to like conventions and stuff quite regularly. These little boxes are just perfect to like shove some sandwiches in to take with you. Because, in, you know, I was like, guys, at conventions, the prices can be insane for food. So I'll always, I always like having a good little lunchbox to take with me. So these these come with, like, fancy little handles on as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, but, yeah, it's just a fancy little lunchbox. If we open you can flick the two sides and open it up. Does that have a lid compartment as well? Oh, it does! So this one has, even has, like, an upper lid compartment. So that's nice. So you can put a few little things in there. And then you've got your compartment box on the bottom, which is like your bento box. You can put whatever you want in these different compartments. And they've even included like a little ladle spoon. Oh, awesome. I'm not even just saying that out loud, but I genuinely mean it. That is awesome. I'm happy with that. I like a little, I like a little, uh, a little box to geek out of. Plus, even if you're not going to use it for food and lunch and stuff, these little compartment boxes are always good for accessories. For carrying stuff around in if you want to keep them safe or whatever <coughs> if you were going on, on like on like action figure photography and you didn't want to damage anything you could always use them for that but wait there's still more so like a little, another little item here yoda the jedi master oh it's a bookmark so we have a yoda bookmark I actually could do with a bookmark because i'm currently reading a load of comics and it will save me Damaging the books. So yes, I can put the uh, use my nice new Yoda lay, uh, uh, bookmark in there. I quite cups. <laughs> final item in the box. Yep, final item. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Two items in the box. <laughs> we'll start with this one. Oh, this is a slider pin. So this is a slider pin Yoda Jedi training. It's got Yoda and the X-Wing. And basically you can... Basically this little ship will rise up. Obviously Yoda doing the... So he's, he's raising it out of the swamp. So pins... That's a very heavy pin as well. <coughs> pins obviously very popular in the United States. Not so much here in the UK. Um, unless you're a, a frequent traveller to like the States, like Disney and stuff. I don't see pins being that popular over here. But pins are very popular in America. <coughs> Pin trading at Disney especially is, is mental. And then we've got this one. This says Star Wars Galaxy's Box on it. Whatever. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a, back, a backpack. It's a foldable backpack. Oh, I like this now. So, you know when you go, again, when you go to a convention and you need some extra bags to put your stuff in, how, you could basically keep that in, in your, like, put that in your backpack, and then basically when you're at the con and you need more, you need more storage space, if you've spent up, that's when you pull, that's when you unzip this bad boy, and it turns into a big orange uh, backpack from, from the, uh, from Empire. I have to open that up all the way. Yeah. Oh wow.
and that goes all the way to there so that bit doesn't yeah but that's that's nice for what it is you know i know it's only uh, like a thin thing but again like i was saying if you were if you were at a convention or something you needed some extra space storage whatever that little zip up bag's ideal am i going to be able to put it back put it back together though that's the question <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to be able to now, you know. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Oh, yeah, you just stuff it in. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is pretty easy, actually. you just got to work out what bits of stuff where. Not as small and neat and compact as they had it when it was packed in that box, but I'm getting there. <laughs> there we go. Flatten it down. Yeah. There you go. And it folds back up into the handy-dandy little pouch. You know, not mad at that. That's fun. Not a bad box, you know. I'm quite happy with that. So we got the box art. We've got the foldable backpack. We've got the Yoda Dagobah pin. We've got the bookmark. We've got the bento box. Chopsticks. A t-shirt, 3XL, and the cap. I believe these boxes are, um, I'm just going to double check right quick, but I believe these boxes are $49.99, I believe they are. Because um, <coughs> they are every quarter, don't forget. So, for, for $44.99. <coughs> but I mean, for all that, a t-shirt, if you say the t-shirt alone could be between... 15 to 20 dollars the cap's probably a good 10 15 20 dollars um what 10 10 10 even if you put 10 on every item you've the money's there definitely the what the little wall box are i don't know they're like the wall box are the pin and that they're kind of the throwaway items for me but i mean the cap's good value this is like a proper leather pouch that comes with these chopsticks so like if you were to buy like fancy chopsticks at, like epcot or something with Star Wars logos on them in, in Disney, it would cost you a fair bit. So, I mean, that little set alone, the, the bento box and the chopsticks, could be worth quite a bit. So, working it out, the money's definitely there. <coughs> and where else are you going to get stuff like this, you know what I mean? It's all like, it's like marketing stuff that you wouldn't normally find in a store. I don't think these would sell, you know what I mean, if that makes sense. But it's cool to own one. So, yeah. I'm happy with this box. What are your thoughts, guys? Let us know your thoughts on this box in the comments down below. If you did enjoy today's review, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Leave us a comment down below, and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. And just thank you all very much for watching. There is a link in the description if you want to take this option, this offer up yourself, guys. You can grab a box for yourself. Now, just just let you know, this box is only available in the United States. It's not actually available in UK and Europe. I do apologise. I was sent this by Culturefly, um, as my audience here on YouTube is predominantly from the United States. So, my UK and, Euro and, and European followers, I do apologise. This box isn't for you, sadly. But, to all my American followers, you can grab one of these boxes using the link in the description. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Supersaw, and I'll see you in the next video. But until then, may the Force be with you. Bye!